All right, looking at the pound yen here on the daily time frame, you can see that we've been kind of bouncing back and forth, back and forth in between uh, basically 136 and 148, uh, going back and forth for uh, the, the better part of the year so far. And uh, as we've been doing this, uh, we find ourselves now up here again at the top. So because we are at the top and uh, this level has been bounced on a couple times, I'm feeling that it's going to be getting weaker and weaker, okay? Now, inside of this daily zone, there's a nice little uh, smaller time frame, 60-minute level inside there. And what I'm thinking is happening here, and especially for the up-and-coming week, is I'm seeing this level... If we do break to the upside, if price does break to the upside, then I'm seeing that this level needs to be put back in place, okay? So what does that mean? Well, that means uh, supply needs to become demand, and we need to reform this area before we actually push up into a higher area, okay? Before we push into 150, price needs to basically consolidate right around in, in here and tell us, that this level is going to be important in the future. So I'm expecting some consolidation to happen this coming week up here at the highs just because, well, it really serves two purposes. First off, everybody knows that this is a decision point, all right? And number two, uh, it allows uh, supply to reform as demand and buyers and sellers can wage war back and forth people that think it's going to go short people that thinks it's going to go long yada 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 um consolidation is going to happen and the next thing after consolidation is, is expansion so i'm looking for a little bit more consolidation right around in this uh, current supply zone here on the daily after that consolidation happens and we have a good basing area to form our new demand off of, then I'm looking for expansion to happen. Now, I think it's going to happen in, into the upside uh, just because of what price action has told us here on the, the left. Okay, So price action is saying that it really wants to go to the north side, even though we find ourselves in somewhat of a range. It's telling me that, that uh, more than likely we're going to go to the north side so I'm just waiting for supply and demand to, to confirm that, for price action to confirm uh, those big concepts of supply and demand. So uh, that's what I'm looking at here on the daily. Over here on the hourly time frame, we've, uh, what I've done here is I've just broken down all the levels that we will have coming into play this coming week. Uh, I think that we could come all the way down here to 145, down to 144.8. Okay, so we could be bouncing down here as well. But I would like to see us really hit in this uh, supply zone and confluence of levels at 147 up to 148. Uh, that level, particularly, I want to see price bounce off of it and and really give it a good retest and really reform off of that level. And as price interacts with that level, as price comes up here, I think this is really going to be where price spends most of its time this coming week is up in the supply zone. Hopefully we'll break this level, uh, maybe put in a little bit more consolidation, and then pop to the upside into 150. Now that could be a few weeks out, but overall this is what I'm looking at, what's going on in this market overall here. Moving over to Euro Pound here today, uh, you can see that uh, price is kind of broken out of a little range that it's been in here uh, over the past few months. Uh, basically, the the high of the year so far, uh, we've just broken that uh, in the past few days. All right, we'll just say the past week, and uh, now I'm looking at price actually moving all the way up here into the dot uh, nine. 01 to 7 area you can see this big daily supply and in that big daily supply uh, I think it's super duper important to realize that this is really just the the top part of a range okay uh, I, I would say that this whole uh, area from this supply down to this demand we're just kind of back and forth in this range but 
but it hasn't been in exact perfect range. Uh, technically speaking, there is some old uh, supply that we've just busted through over here. So we've we just pushed through that, and now we're I'm looking for price to move up into uh, the the highs and into the supply up there. Okay, so moving down to the hourly chart. Uh, I'm really looking at these two levels inside of that big daily supply to hold some type of uh, resistance. And let's uh, zoom in here just a little bit more. We do have some space to run to the upside. So for this coming week, I would like to see price break out of the, the little consolidation that it's been in here, uh, break out to the upside, and then move into this big daily supply and hit one of these two 60-minute levels. So for the the next week, I would like to see this move uh, take place. Now, it, it could be a pretty slow-looking move, uh, just knowing how this market kind of meanders uh, back and forth. But uh, I would like to see this move happen here in pretty short order, uh, relatively speaking. And again, this is for swing trading. So uh, this stuff uh, can take uh, days and weeks. And sometimes when looking at levels so big, uh, it, well, it's a, it's a swing trade type of position. So uh, a move may take a month, uh, whereas I could see it happening in a week. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than that. All right. Uh, so that's what I see happening in this market. And again, these are the two major supply levels. Uh, we've had a nice little basing level uh, that price has kind of found some good support off of uh, down here. So I'm really looking for uh, price to start to uh, break this high and then start moving up even into higher levels. And again, this should be a uh, uh, support zone. So let's just make that a nice support zone uh, color there. And I'm just thinking price is going to start meandering to the upside here into big supply.